Hey guys, so something I'm doing a little bit new today. We're playing this game. Came out a little while ago. I bought it when it was still like really early development. Haven't really played it all that much. It's called Kerbal Space Program. If you haven't heard of it, basically what you do is you make a space program. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna name this one YouTube Campaign, and we're going to make it a career. Okay. So what we're going to do is make it on normal difficulty because I'm not that good. Um, missing crews respawn? No, just because that's fun. Permadeath, you know, all that. You get to pick your flag. So. What I think what I'm going to do is go with this one, I think, because it's cool. Uh, so, when you start off in the campaign, you only have, like, a few things. Some of the stuff that you need to do is very minimalistic, so I'll try to cut out as much of that as I possibly can, get you guys the cool meat. So, we get this cool starting message. Welcome to the Space Center. Nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, flight director, and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. From here you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around. Hold the right mouse button. Hold the right mouse button to move the camera. Or use the arrow keys. Probably just easier to use the arrow keys, right? No. Okay, right click over the Space Center facilities to learn more about them. Okay. Left click when you're ready to head inside. Okay, that's cool. So what do we have here? We have the R and D lab. Then we have this astronaut complex. I'm guessing that's where we Yeah, that's where you go in. Um hire new astronauts because it's permadeath. An admin building. Ooh, that sounds cool. What's this all about? Oh. I don't think I want to screw with this. This looks a little bit advanced. Okay, so I guess what we're going to end up doing is just heading straight into this thing. It's called the VAB, which is the Vehicle Assembly Building. Okay, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so what you got to start off doing is you got to pick a command pod. And then you don't really have many parts to start off with. So I actually I think you only have like three things. No. Okay, so we're gonna make this basic rocket, and um, right here. Okay. So since we made this basic rocket, one of the first things that you got to do in this game is well, one of the first things that's really fun to do in this game is when you go, you have to. It's very, very cheaty. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take Bob Kerman, because he's a scientist, and what he can do is he can reset these goo pods. I'm pretty sure is what I read somewhere. So yeah, that's why we're taking him instead of anybody else. And then we want some basic fins because they're cool. Put those. No. No, OCD is going to have a fit. Okay, right there. This is our spacecraft. It is nothing. Uh, let's rename this. Bound for the ground. And we can save it. And let's launch this puppy. So I've put all of about, I think, like five hours into this game, and I am by no means a expert at any of this, but I do know like the basics, you know, like how you can do this and just farm science off the launch pad. I needed to come in with some um to some effect of like knowing what I'm doing, you know? No pilot support. Oh. Huh. Oh, this is something I didn't see. This isn't, you don't want your 
parachute and your engine going off at the same time. But what you can do is, since this is a solid rocket booster, there's no thrust control, so you don't even need to worry about touching the throttle. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take off. Go straight up, hopefully. Set some altitude records. Yep, let's see. 150 meters per second achieved. I'd say that's pretty decent. 300 now. Are we gonna? How many are we gonna break today? 450 now. This is all getting us money and reputation. Now we just set an altitude record. Now what we're going to about to start doing is if you can go to the map mode and you go and you look at us, we're actually about to start heading back down and we're going to go straight for the ocean, as you can see. Our apoapsis, which is the highest point on this side, is 7,000 and I think we just passed it. 72. Nope. Um, I think we have 50 more meters per second. Or not 50 more meters per second. Look, do you see how our surface is going down? Oh, now we're turning. Now we're turning. And now we're going straight for the ground. Well, this is not fun. Let's see if we can turn this puppy over. The less aerodynamic we make ourselves, the faster we'll slow down. No. Okay, I think at about 5,000 we'll release our parachutes. As you can see, this is like the least fun part about flying a rocket ship. But what we can do is we can look. And we can go in and see what this guy sees. Now all of this stuff is functional, so you could actually fly the spaceship from here. If you see this, you can grab this and pull it up and down. And that's your throttle. And then it shows your meters per second and all that fun stuff. Then it, you have this navigation ball. Whoops. Um. Crap. I forgot how. No. No. Oh, you're kidding me. I completely forgot how to get out of this. Um, hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, C and V. Okay. So if you ever get stuck like that, just remember C and V all you need to remember. That's cool, I never noticed that other stuff over there. What is that it's supposed to be like? Crash sites? Where we've accidentally let rockets go off? Now, there is a time warping feature. It's only if you trust yourself. 
which I don't really, so I'm not going to do it all the way, you know. And then touch down. And now we can recover our vessel, get all the science back. And now since we have all the science, we're actually going to get, I think, yep, look, we got 18 and a half science, which is really good. And then we got additional funds from all the, you know, parts and from some of those, um, what were they? The missions that we had. And then he gained some XP. And XP just determines how good they are at certain stuff. Mm. So then if we go to, where is it, the R&D, right here. And now we can research both of these things. So one of them gives us another cockpit and more science stuff. So we're going to go for that, even though we can get both of them. And then this one gives us access to liquid engines, which gives us um, control over our throttle. So we can, those are basically one of the more important things. Yeah, we have to go for it. And then now what we're going to be saving up for is either general rocketry, stability, or survivability. But before all that, I think this is a good introduction episode. So we're going to end it off here. And next time, we'll start off with launching our first rocket that's going to get us to the next stage. Have a good night. Bye.